So today I am going to cover ODE solvers and ODE is short form for ordinary differential equation. Okay. Now uh, it comes in two categories. One is initial value problem and other one is boundary value problems. Okay. So I will uh, uh, describe it in a minute. So, OD is in physics, uh, everybody knows, no? you find it everywhere. So, uh, mechanics, Newton's law is ordinary differential equation, okay, mass times acceleration is force. So, force could be function of position and time. Right now, I am using 1D, but uh, it can be done for 3D. So, we will have X, Y, Z and 3 equations, right. Is a second order equation, right? So double dot means uh, derivative time, right? Uh, second derivative time. This is what double dot means. Okay. Uh, we find it in uh, all sorts. I mean, electrical engineering we have current varying with time, so we have equation for the current. Okay. So li double dot plus ri. Plus, okay, see, you know, Ri dot plus Ci is external voltage, okay, some something of that sort. Okay? So, we find it um, in all lots of equations. Now, some equations are easy to solve, uh, in fact, especially the linear ones, but the many equations are not easy to solve. So in weather, you know, so. Um, we have partial differential equation, right? So this I will do it a bit later. So if some, some velocity in weather is function of position and time. Okay. So we write down, so this is independent variable and they also independent variable. So the equation is PDE. And we'll do that a bit later. So I need to bit, uh, rush a bit today. So I don't want to get into that. So these are PDEs. Now for Newton's equation, we how do we solve it? Uh, typically, okay, most of the time, we are given the initial condition. Initial condition, I see, I have used short form for initial condition. And uh, initial condition for 1D system is position at time t equal to 0. So this is t equal to 0, okay. And velocity. So the second order equation, so it requires two initial conditions, okay. Any thought of the equation um, requires n initial conditions. Okay. Now, so Newton's law requires this. Okay. I'm sure you know this from mechanics. Now, for things like in astrophysics, uh, the force is quite complicated. Uh, uh, it's not a simple one uh, like spring or uh, capital problem. And so we need to use computers. I mean, all over the time. I mean, mechanical engineering for so we need to do that. Anyway, so for computing, okay. So I want to do one more statement before I go into uh, solving this equation. Um, there's another set of equations which are for boundary value problems. So we know that for uh, wave function uh, in quantum mechanics. Um, so minus h bar squared by 2m Laplace inside Laplace. so let's do in 1d so 1d is d squared by d squared plus v psi equal to e psi okay now we want to find the eigenvalue okay e and normally we give this boundary condition so psi is for period particle in a box Psi is zero here and zero here, vanishing boundary condition. Or uh, if it is a oscillator problem, then it goes to zero from at minus infinity and plus infinity. Okay, and these are called boundary value problems. Okay, 
I hope we can, I mean, we, I'm just going to mention that uh, I may not have a lot of time, but uh, I will show you how to solve these problems as well. So now let's look at how to solve that ODs. Now let's just go to ODs with initial value problem. So given in, given initial condition, I want to solve the ODs. So this is called initial value problem, initial value problems. Okay. Other one where uh, we give the boundary condition and then we solve it for boundary value problems. So how do you solve initial value problem? So any any third order equation. ODs. So let's say we have second order equation, which is force by mass. So I rewrite this to first order equations. Convert it to first order. How do we convert it to first order? So in fact, it can easily be done. So you just see x dot equal to p and p dot equal to f by m, right? Uh, how do we verify it? Just substitute uh, p from here. So uh, p dot is x. So I just put here. So x and another dot because this, this dot is there. So another dot is f by m. Okay. So any nth order equation, you can just follow the same trick. Uh, we can reduce it to uh, first order equation. Uh, one more example, let's just take for damped oscillator. So by the way, for simplicity, I set many terms to zeros, huh? like mass, well, not one. So mass is set to one, right? Uh, just to write less, mx double dot plus x is force. So I can write down x dot is p. So now this becomes p dot plus gamma p, right? So this x dot is p, this p dot plus x is f. So these two two first order equation. This you can take it to the right hand side here. Okay. So we'll basically get set of first order equation. Nth order equation can be converted to n first order equation. And in this course, we'll show you how to solve the first order equation. Okay. So oh. um, and okay. so this is how we kind of simplify the problem. We keep simplifying it and then solve a bare minimum problem. And using that, you write the solution for the full problem. Okay. So uh, let's see. So uh, my, uh, as I said, objective is to solve this equation. So x dot is fxt. Uh, right now we use time for uh, is an independent variable. Independent variable. And x is a dependent variable. Okay, so the idea for this uh, solution is that we start from t equal to zero. I'm just say zero, but you can start with any time t equal to five. It's no problem. But okay, so this t zero, if you may call it, you know, okay, so you may call it t zero instead of zero, and t final. Okay, this f are final and z five zero for initial. Now discretize it. In numerical computing, we always discretize. And right now I'm discretizing uniformly, but you don't need to discretize uniformly. You can have non-uniform dis uh, discretization. So this T0, T1, T2, like this, you go up to. And instead of Tf, I'm going to call it uh, Tn minus 1. N is the number of points. Okay. And so this will be Tn minus 2. And of course, every time there is a value of the variable, right? A dependent variable. So this we call x0, x1, x2, like that. So this is a notation I follow in my in my uh, book as well as in course. We'll follow this uh, throughout. So dependent variable we'll write as a uh, so will be denoted by an index. An index will be superscript. But within brackets, a problem is if I just write x to the power one, so that things that you may think that x is x to the power one or right x squared. So I want to differentiate x squared with x at t equal to t two. Okay, so uh, that's why you put a bracket. 
Okay, so this is a nice notation which is used in many textbooks. Okay, so these are my notation. Now, how do I solve it? So it, it, please remember that I had this one. So uh, discretize in time. So let's focus on two close by times, Tn and Tn minus Tn plus one. Okay, so two times which are adjacent times. T so this this should not there's nothing in between, huh? So T n to T n plus one. Numerical computing we always need to take a finite time delta t. You cannot take delta t goes to zero, not possible. So now I write this as a in this one way. Okay, I mean there are more clever ways, but I will just do in the simplest way. So we write this as. Uh, x t plus delta t, that's what we write now. So this is delta t, okay? This is delta t. Minus x t equal to delta t times forcing f x over t. Okay. Now this is that's what you do, but we're gonna write it with bit differently. So I think I I'm not gonna write like that. This is the simplest way to write it, but it already has made approximation. So you want to write in more general form. So I'm going to cut that out. So let's integrate that above equation. Okay. So let's integrate that. So integral dx equal integral f dt. And you do it from uh, lower limit is tn, upper limit tn plus 1. So x will be xn plus 1 minus xn. Okay, so these are uh, uh, left integral. So right integral, we just write like this right now. Tn to Tn plus 1. F dt. Okay, let's do in best possible ways. Okay, now the idea is if I integrate this more accurately, then I get a better integral. Uh, this one is also one of the integrals, but uh, we can do better. Okay, so is that idea clear? So this is how we time advance. Now we'll use one of the integration schemes which we discussed in the past. Uh, we can use the Trapeza rule, Simpson rule, uh, simpler <laughs> rules and that, or more complicated. So we discussed all that. So you see, this is what I kind of uh, like it, that the numerical schemes are not disjoint. There are connections. And the one person who kind of uh, sees the connection enjoys it. Otherwise, it looks all boring and stupid. Okay, but uh, there is a connection, and uh, and if you know it well, then you can optim optimize it. You can get better solutions. Okay, so okay, now this is uh, I already have made this. So this is what I write. Okay, now so I'm going to describe several methods. Okay, so. Uh, this integral, we need to do the integral, right? I mean, that's that's the basic idea, how to do the integral. So let's estimate the integral. So remember, we have this integral right, right hand side is uh, Tn to Tn plus 1 F dt. Okay. So uh, I need an estimate of F. Okay. So you say, well, I'm going to take F which is a slope in fact, right? Uh, so we have, please remember, oops. We have Tn to Tn plus 1, F dt. And uh, we have the, the slope. Uh, so remember we have x dot equal to F. So this is slope of xt, right? I mean, the, the, my real function xt is this. I, so we are here. I found. So my real function xt is here. Now uh, we have x dot equal to f. So slope is f, right? So so we say that let's take the slope at tn. So I'm going to approximate. Uh, so we'll just say that integral. I compute the integral with one f. And that f will be computed at tn. So this we approximated as uh, f 
times delta t. But where do we compute f? f is computed at xn and tn. Okay, so this is what we write. So this is xn plus 1 minus xn equal to this. And this is called Euler forward. So why is it called forward? It's called forward because we compute the we compute the value ahead using the slope at the present time. So if you're trekking on a mountain, then you look at the peak in front of you and you say, well, given so I estimate from the present slope. I estimate what should be the uh, angle. And so, so you're looking at the slope, present slope, yeah. and and going ahead. Okay, so forward. You know, that's what I use the local slope to estimate. Now this is an error, right? Because my real value at x and t n plus one is here, but my projected value is here. So this is error. Okay. So anyway, this is called Euler forward. Okay. Is 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 a simpler scheme, of course, it has error, but um, this one I'm going to show you how to estimate error and how to do some thing called stability analysis a bit later. Now let's look at this next scheme, all that backward scheme. Here I just do slightly different. I use this, so I want to estimate this, this one. So I use the slope at t n plus 1 here. So the, the slope at t n plus 1 is uh, this is the slope. Right? Well, uh, unfortunately, we don't know what is the, what is the value x n plus 1. So uh, it's a bit tricky how to do it. But in any case, suppose I can get to uh, this value okay, x n plus 1. Then I can get the slope. And using that, I can determine uh, the function. So idea is we write this as xn plus 1 minus xn. This integral, I use 1f, single f, but it is computed at xn plus 1, tn plus 1 times delta t. Okay. So, uh, so it turns out that my answer xn plus 1 is in terms of answer itself. Okay. So, this is also called implicit scheme. And we'll do it uh, in the next class. We can't get to a blackboard, uh, Euler backward scheme in more detail. It's an important scheme, but uh, we'll, we'll study it in more detail uh, afterwards. Next is midpoint method. Midpoint method is that, well, let's see that I get this point, uh, midpoint, and I compute the slope there. Okay, of course, we don't know the midpoint, but this is like uh, assuming that we know the midpoint. Okay, uh, and then we can again compute uh, 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 the integral, so which is xn plus one minus xn. So the integral will be f mid. Okay. Um, times dt. Okay, so we can more you can write this more formally as f x mid t mid so t mid times delta t. This is called midpoint method. One more scheme leapfrog method, which is again a midpoint method, but it's slightly different. So we take three points, not two points. Here I was going from Tn, uh, in the previous slide I was going from Tn to Tn plus 1. So let's take another point Tn minus 1. If it's equispaced, uh, this uh, Tn are equispaced, then so I can go from here to there. So what is the midpoint here is Tn, correct? So idea is uh, it is 
एक्स एन प्लस वन माइनस एक्स एन माइनस वन ओके सो आई गो फ्रॉम हियर टू देयर इक्वल टू मिड पॉइंट विच विल एफ एट एक्स एन कॉमर टी एन ओके नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम इट इज टाइम रिवर्स सिमेट्रिक ओके इन मेकेनिक्स नॉर्मली वी हैव इक्वेशन विच आर टाइम रिवर्स सिमेट्रिक सिमेट्रिक अंडर टाइम रिवर्सल सो ली फ्रॉग इज अ गुड मेथड फॉर फॉर दोज इक्वेशन बट इट हैज इट्स ओन प्रॉब्लम बट एनी वे सो वील सी वेदर वी कैन डू इट इन सम डिटेल बट मेकेनिक्स प्रॉब्लम आर सॉल्व बाय लीफ रॉक और एडवांस मेथड्स ऑफ लीफ रॉक एडवांस वर्जन ऑफ लीफ रॉक वन मोर मेथड इज ट्रिपल जेट रूल सो वॉट इज द ट्रिपल जेट रूल सो अगेन आई है टू डू द इंटीरियर सो एक्स एन प्लस वन माइनस एक्स एन इंटीग्रल सो ट्रिपल जेट रूल इज ट्रिपल इज एप सो वी हैव टी एन T n plus one, and uh, so so you make a trivial of this sort. Of. It's not exactly that, but yeah, it's a it's a trivial. So I have to do the integral f dt. Now I will say that I'm going to use this half value of the function at these points. Right, that's a trivial of two. So half. एक्स एन टी एन प्लस एफ एक्स एन प्लस वन टी एन प्लस वन ओके सो दिस इज अम सो इट्स मिड वे आई यूज द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन प्रेजेंटली एंड वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन इन फ्यूचर ओके एंड पुट फैक्टर हाफ ओके So this is a triple rule. Um, there are schemes based on this. Okay. So these are uh, basically five schemes which I told you, and we have. We can make. Uh, you can integrate uh, using these equations, with these methods, or there are advanced versions of this. Okay. Um,